Hello everyone, another uh, quick little video on Remcos again on its latest update. Um, I've already got a uh, XP machine here which I've um, um, which I've already uh, run, a, run the Remcos agent on earlier today. Um, actually earlier, just before I started recording this video, I closed down I close that is a nice noise, isn't it? I, I closed down the computer and then um, and then the whole thing just sort of crashed. Uh, let's quickly now the side thing. Now it should run, I believe. Uh, yeah. Give it a second. Oh, no ports listening for some reason. I don't know why it hasn't um, saved. It's sort of saved. Oh, because it crashed, so uh, yeah. Right, okay, let's go. So, first new thing control center with a different sort of look, which is. Uh, which in. I, I, I kind of. I, I don't know how to describe it. I, I do like large, uh, overcomplicated things like. Um, like the kind of style, I think it was and Android Gingerbread. I, I thought that was quite cool. Uh, to be honest, I, it's a little bit ugly, but there are some things which I think are. I'm um, I'm not a minimalist, in short. So instead of a, a big box full of things being over here, we um, full of buttons. We've now got tabs, which I don't think I've ever seen such a long tab before, um, or drop down box. I've never seen something so, quite as long as that. Don't know what I think about that. Don't know whether I want it to be them all to be the same. I don't know, but look how long that is. Well, anyway, that's irrelevant. So we've still got the same information as before. So let's go and I'll, I'm only going to cover new things um, because I've already covered everything else in my other Remcos videos. Uh, so if we open Window Manager, we can have a look at some of these new, um, new, new, new features. So if we refresh this quickly, so we can um, do more things to the uh, windows now. So we can maximize, show and restore. So I believe, let's try again. Interesting. Should we go on if we show a window that we're not supposed to? <laughs> That's so strange. That's so weird. Um, once we hide this, uh, oh, that's 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 what hide desktop does. That's cool. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's let's do. Uh, I don't know why show restore. Oh, it means the show restore means this. Okay, I see. So we can minimize. We can maximize. We can. Was someone else said, oh, title. I thought it said tile. Um, uh, let's just call it untitled. Don't know why I didn't. Uh, oh, me being stupid. And now it's just called untitled. It is for. I do like um, the way it automatically refreshes, like it should do after you do something. All well, Windows managers should. Uh, let's. Oh yeah, I called it untitled, didn't I? Let's um, kill it for a minute. Let's try. Let's open. Let's, let's just just really quickly. I want to see what some of this stuff looks like. Probably not the best thing to do. Do that. Show a bunch of random windows you're not supposed to. Okay. We, we seem to, we should probably stop doing stuff like that now. Um, but how amusing. Uh, actually, let's refresh and then let's hide these again. There we are. Okay, let's do one. Let's, let's open in one of these M's. Oops. <laughs> anyway, I'll stop messing around now. So we can show title list windows. There's one here. Let's, which we can see, apparently. We've got a lot of untitled windows. Okay, I'll do, I'll, this, I've stopped. This is so fun. Look at that. What is the point of that? That is so stupid, but very cool. Look at that. See, this is why 
Chromecast is the best rap because you can show windows that have nothing in them whatsoever and they, and they don't even do anything. I mean, look at this one. This one, this one doesn't even exist. Anyway. Okay, I can't even get rid of them. Um, show visible only. Okay, okay. So anyway, we've uh, we, that that's cool. I spent way too much time messing around with that. Now uh, there is a show agent uh, thing uh, feature, uh, but I can't find that right now. Um, let me let me take a really quick look. Ah, oh, here it is. Show. We are now it's set to visible mode, which is uh, pretty cool. Can I hide it as well? For some reason, no. I don't know, don't know quite why it's why the word why showing is um, why they haven't added hide as well. Unless hide exists, and it was already existed, and I just didn't know. But anyway, that that's not the end of the world right now. So uh, next, we shall go to one of my new favourite features, which is actually let's do my favourite feature last. Let's do uh, I'll just show elevate. Now elevate would um, elevate the process to ask it to go to administrator, which I've obviously is very useful if you forget. You don't want somebody down rerunning the whole thing all over again. So being able to do it in the middle of administrating a computer, or uh, I guess you, know, you do this in remote support or whatever, is very useful. Audio player. Let's uh, let's just play. I'll, I'll find some suitable audio which won't. Uh, be be too bad. So uh, give me a second, guys. Right, I found some royalty-free music on my computer. So let's uh, play it and see what it sounds like. Whether we can hear it through the computer uh, through the host machine, we might not be able to. It works. So we can pause and resume. That which works. We can just stop it, and it will say audio oh, yeah, stopped or ended. Uh, so now there's also an alarm. So, this will last for a little while. Oh dear. No. Okay. Um, so we have a uh, thing like that. Um, now, this is my new favourite feature, which I think is very cool. Under surveillance, there is now a an activity notification suite, or whatever you want to call it. And this is very cool. So, you have a list of your clients connected computers here and um, and um, 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 and so you select any one of any number of these here and then you can add these little things and it's a little bit it's semi limited right now so I imagine it will be um, not limited it's a little uh, broad the uh, the brush strokes to, to be uh, whatever that word is, to, to be all uh, fancy. So anyway, so we have network, dis network uh, I'll explain, so network disconnection, uh, if that's checked and enabled, uh, we will get a notification uh, every time when they disconnect. Now I'm not going to show that on here because I don't think I've got the, this is, I can't be bothered to faff around. Um, so actually, but what you do is you click set notification and there we go, trigger network dis disconnection Every time this person disconnects from our thing, from our from Remcos. Next, we've got. I'll do window because it's a bit, and then I'll talk about using. So window activity. So every time, so if I turn it on, every time Remcos detects Notepad or Google in the title window, then it will sound a um, notification. And this, I don't know why, but this always makes me jump every time I, um, every time I hear it, because it takes a second. Ugh. It's even then, and you get a little notification. It forces Remcos to the top, which just brings it to the top, which is nice. Uh, and we'll just check with uh, Google as well. As you can see, it's kind of uh, killing me doing it in a, a virtual machine. So now, if we go to um, Firefox and then go to Google.com, when it connects, it will say Google, and then we should have a notification in a minute. There we are. So 
here we've got oh I, I think that's because I closed it but you can hear the thing and it goes I say a little effect oh. there we are that's confusing uh, so let's turn that off for a minute now next then this one is super cool uh, I really like this one we've got um, an alarm and a remote alarm so if you want instead of a notification so doing oh, you've also got log which just literally just logs it down here so I turn that one on for the time being um, so user activity means every time a user does anything anything at all it will um, it will it will tell you so if I just do some stuff down here like that and we go back to Remcos oh. hold on let's turn down the idle thresh idle time threshold Anyway, let's see if that's worked. There we are, so it's just some user activity. Uh, oh, okay. Now I believe the idle time threshold means that um, it, it will, if they've been idle for some time, it won't re-log it, I think. Um, I'll check very quickly what that means. Right, so I don't know if I was actually right, but basically, if the idle time is one minute, for example, then this it will only this will only log after a minute of idle time. So let's say I'm typing away. Um, so now we'll get uh, some activity notification. Let's so lock that back to it. So it's a bit better. So you see, yeah. So here we go. Activity detected. But it, it, the idle time's at zero right now. So if we start doing stuff on Notepad, we won't get anything. You see, nothing new came up. So, if you want it to trigger every five minutes or every five minutes of idle time, say if somebody, if you don't want to fill up this log down here with massive, with huge, um, if you don't want to fill it up, basically, you can set the uh, times like five minutes, for example. But do bear in mind you are going to miss some things because uh, a lot can happen in, I mean, um, basically, you don't want it to set. You don't want it an hour, because you don't have to wait for an hour of idle time. Because who's going to leave the computer for an, not important? You know what I mean. There's going to you're going to have to wait for an hour to pass of no activity at all before it starts logging again a new thing. So you don't want to have it too long. I mean, if you want it to log everything, then zero is um, probably the the best or one, I'd say. Um, so next we've got alarm and a, and a remote alarm. Now let's say you're, I'm watching this computer and I don't want somebody to use it. Say, uh, say, it's a, say, uh, say you have some children and you say, right, no more computer time on your computer in your room. Sorry, in, in, like they have their laptops and you don't want them using them. And you're downstairs and they're supposed to be in bed or I don't, I don't know, some kind of hypothetical situation. So we turn on the alarm and we, um, turn it on now and we have it on user activity so what we have here is an alarm will go off on our computer every time they do something so it should come up in a minute scaring me yeah, here we are. Uh, uh. I'm going to stop and disable the alarm but you can uh, you know, keep on going so that alarm will continue until we turn it off um, however you can also set the alarm on their computer which I think is really cool so if we <laughs> I mean it, it's a bit like a alarm system in like uh, um, a, a spy movie or whatever or on a heist or something so if we turn on it turn it on now it's going to go now it's, it's going to okay okay we didn't like that uh, oh there we are so yeah you can hear by the choppiness and the breaking of the virtual machine that um, we can we have set a alarm on, on it, the alarm came through here so a very cool feature one that I think is very cool and it also logs it in the event log as well which is very useful um, so yeah that's all I want to talk about today in Remcos um, and uh, yeah it's a it's a very good update so anyway thank you guys for 
for uh, watching the video and have a very nice day where whatever you're doing wherever you are